Hey everybody, this is Matt with Life Story Coaching. So I just finished week two of my I Am A Comeback Story fitness journey. And it's been three years since I've been out of the gym based on being disabled, a bunch of health issues, all kinds of stuff and excuses. So here's a quick summary on how things are going. In a quick couple of weeks, my body's already making changes. Now I wouldn't have thought I was making changes yet because I've been starting off so slow. But looking at the 3D body scans, which are fascinating, it's starting to show that my body's starting to even out. Muscles are starting to become more proportionate, more even. Body fat's going down. Lean muscle mass is going up. While weight's not really fluctuating a whole lot. But my body's starting to change. And it's really cool stuff. Now, one of the excuses I used to give myself is to not go to the gym was that I'd have these really painful seizure-like muscle spasms. We don't know what they are. The doctors still don't know. We think it's neuro-related, but we're not here to solve that problem. It's an excuse that kept me out. And it was legit. So I'm going to show you. For the first time, I've never showed this really to anybody. But my wife filmed one of these episodes the other night, about a couple weeks ago. And i got to be honest, for me, it was the first time I've ever really seen it on video. And this one happened while I was just laying down in bed and it happened the day before I was supposed to have my first workout. Huge attack on me as to why I shouldn't be doing this. So I'm going to share it with you and it's, it's, um, it's not pleasant for me to see. My other fear was is that this would happen while I was working out, and it did. It happened last week. You know, after doing some core exercises, I started shaking. It's one of the things that happens. Either I start shaking a lot, or I go into an all-out spasm, and I'm shaking and spasming. Extremely painful. But my fear was that people would see this, think I was a freak, something was weird, they'd call an ambulance, think I'm dying, all this stuff. I don't care anymore. I'm done with the excuses. I'm showing up anyways. <laughs> I've had to put my ego aside, my pride aside. I mean, I'm sitting there using eight pound dumbbells and I'm like, it's stretching me like I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger in there. I'm like, I'm like so fatigued. I'm like, ah, ah, get to the chopper, you know, with like only eight pound dumbbells. But I don't care. It's working. And I'm seeing gains. Like my body's going to get stronger. So whether it's the spasms, the seizures, the, the light weights that I'm using, I don't care. I'm busting my ass because I'm making a comeback. And you know what? I hope it inspires other people too. But I'm doing it for me. I don't care who's watching me at the gym. Just like I don't care who's watching me in life. You know, I'm doing this for myself so I can be a better servant to those around me. My biggest why for why I'm doing this is for my little boy. Like, I just want to be able to play with my son and be active with him. Right now, my body's all stiff and, and cramped up, and it's been dormant for years. I just want to be my best so I can play with him. But the other truth, too, is, is that when you take care of your body, one of those few things that you can control, your fitness, by being active at some level, I guarantee that if you take time to create that habit to be physically fit, that you will be crushing it in your life in your work, in your relationships, I guarantee it's going to bring out the best in you. And I've been sore this past couple of weeks from the workouts, but it's a good sore. Because you know what? My body was in pain regardless of working out or not. I'd rather be in pain, you know, and sore knowing that I'm working towards my purpose. Working towards something better. So I encourage all of you, Focus on the things that you can control in your life. And are you creating time for those things? It's something I'm going to be sharing more about. How to protect your supply lines. The five things in life that you can control. You know, your sleep, your prayer time, your fitness, your nutrition, and your inner circle of friends. Those five things you have total control over. So we'll talk more about it, but I'm just sharing. This is the end of week two. I'm going into week three now. I can't wait to see where this journey goes. So continue to live with a courageous heart 
and thank you all. God bless you all for your support. I appreciate it so much. Bye-bye.